Uh, waiting for team sheet still from Costa. He said printer is not working. Yeah, no, let's get yeah, let's go straight to the court for this one because the um Let's go straight yep. to the court for this yep. one next one.
Live from Sirius Futsal Arena at Futsal Oz in Thomastown, Melbourne. Welcome to round two of Sirius Futsal Victoria men's action. Michael Chevallo, Alex Sivkarovsky with you tonight. We kick off with Carlton versus Hume, a storied rivalry over the years, Alex. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's Carlton's first game in season 2023. This, this rivalry, Michael, goes back to 10 years. Some of the names that are mentioned here, Muhammad Tanka was last playing against Carlton, now he's coaching against them, and it was a young pup named, uh, I'm sure everyone knows this, Shaban Rajab, as a young pup was playing against them, now he's the most senior member of Carlton, so the times have changed, and what a, what a round this is going to be, Michael. Let's run you quickly through both teams. First of all, for Hume... It's Abdul Rahman Bala in number three. Mohamed Fateya, number 30. Lucky Ramadan wears the number five. Reso Kukaloglu, number six. Minas Chowdhury, number seven. Fikri Bozdolga, number eight. Mohamed Temul in number 10. Omar Hardy wears 11. Nejdet Sahin, 21. Omer Turkman wearing jersey number 22. And for Carlton, they got number eight. Dewey Nguyen, number 98. Isaac LaRocca, number 16. The captain, Sharban Rajab. Number 25, Tas Maliaros. Number three, Joshua Pulverenti. Number 96, Ibrahim Kane. Number seven, Darcy Scopolides. Number 23, Nicholas Parthamos. Number 88, Lachlan Maliaros. And number 96, Aaron Fung. Wherever you're watching around the country and certainly around the world on YouTube, on Facebook, through the WeFroth app and website, do drop us a line. Let us know where you're watching from because round two should be an absolute ripper. We see Hume in their black and white jerseys. Their final huddle before our kickoff. Who are the players to look out for? Three of them in the Hume lineup, Alex. Absolutely, for Hume, for me, is a must, is Lachman Ramadan. Came on last week and did wonders for him. It's a shame he couldn't come on earlier, earlier but uh, he's one that's watched. Mohamed Temul, absolutely outstanding again last week. So he's another one too. And I think tonight, Omar Turkman comes in for his first game. Young, experienced, serious futsal campaigner. So he's got uh, a lot to prove tonight. And I think they're the three key names that we will look out for tonight for Hume. For Carlton, so many stars to watch out for. Shaban Rajab, of course, number 16. Keep an eye on Darcy Scopolides going forward, wearing the number 7. Nicholas Partimos, number 23. Lockie Meliaros, another one to keep an eye on tonight. But last week, the question was begging from Hume, what happened to Lockie Ramadan? Didn't play for all the first half. They brought him on late. As soon as he came on, he scored a much-needed goal, made a huge difference to Hume. We do expect Lockie to start tonight, if not starting, to at least get on in the opening few minutes. Well, let's just hope so, and they don't leave it to the second half as they did last week. So they'll learn a lot from that. Uh, I was just wondering if he had come on earlier, how the game would have played out. So it'll be interesting to see that. Carlton's first game... Big loss for them. They did lose the King, Fernando de Marais. But with Carlton, they've obviously got a lot of youngsters who are able to push up. And it's going to be interesting to see. Key uh, name for me is Dewey Nguyen. Watch out for him. Fantastic on both left and right. Can dribble beautifully and has a very good shot. So it's going to look out for him tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Referee's whistle has blown. Both teams on the court and ready to go. Looks like it will be Carlton to kick us off going right of screen. Hume kicking to the left of screen. We're expecting a tight contest here. We're underway in round two of series Futsal Victoria men's. Nice interception early here from Sahin of Partimos it was. And the ball out for Carlton to bring in down the left side looking to work something through Darcy Scopolides their number seven as we said earlier watch Scopolides going forward as a target man for Carlton threaded through the center hoping to find Parthamos also had Chaban Rajab waiting a little deeper another ball in here for Carlton Shot off the left, just roosted over the horizontal. First attempt on goal from Carlton. Yeah, Aaron Fung there just uh, having it over the bar there. So interesting start here. Carlton just backing off a little bit, allowing uh, Hume to just play it out from the back. So we'll see whether that changes up and how they go forward. 
Just to have a look if uh, Ramadan is on the court. I don't believe that he is yet. So Hume choosing not to start their main target man, Big Lockie Ramadan. Of course, the controversy last week, him being brought on so late and making such a huge impact when really it had become too late for Hume to claw their way back into the game. Absolutely. And I think there was a point at the game where it was about 3 It could have been 3-2 from memory. And if that had gone in different game would have changed so it'd be interesting to see how they cope tonight Carlton are wary of it Lockie Ramanan did previously play for Carlton so it'd be interesting to see how he goes against, against his former squad Hume really yet to get inside their attacking half well kept in from Sahin Partimos over the top, hoping for Scopolidis running in. Stuck out the right boot, just couldn't get the toes to a Darcy Scopolidis. Little push in the back of Nedjdet Sahin. He'll receive a free kick. Yeah, good chance here now to really get Mohamed Timul on the ball. Beautiful left foot and right foot, so it is within range. He did score a ripper of a goal from this angle, so Lockie Maliaros has to be careful now and really ensure that wall is set up. It's a one-man wall for Carlton. Will Temel thunder it? He does indeed. Straight into the wall, however. Back out here to Temel. Controlling traffic. Mohamed Temel. Goes to the centre. Right side of the court now. Turkman making a run down the left-hand side. Couldn't get through to him. Well cut out there. Ball sends it here for Hume. Chance on! Keeper comes out to meet it. Nicely defended. Carlton through the centre from Aaron Fung. Turn on the right! Great goalkeeping. Shot on target there for Carlton. Yeah, and Mohamed Fahidia just continue on from last week. Did absolutely his best to keep out of goals. Another big save. That'll do him good confidence. Now it's up to his teammate to make sure it doesn't happen again. Ball in again here from Carlton. Partimos goes to his left boot. Tried for the lower corner. Did Nicholas Partimos whose brother Elias we will see later on tonight. In Campbellfield Colours. Can you believe the big news this week, Alice? Elias Parthamos leaving Fitzroy, leaving the champions to join Campbellfield. Absolutely. I think it's a shock to everyone's system. I think more so to Fitzroy themselves because they weren't expecting it whatsoever as Carlton have a chance here. Nicholas Parthamos went for the right, tried to switch on the left. Took a little too long and the ball was put away from him. Yeah, Evan Robertis there was uh, in two minds whether to run onto the pitch and give a yellow card himself, but uh, controlled his emotion, which is good to see. Very entertaining start to this round two clash between Carlton in the white and Hume in the black. One of three games on tonight. Next up, Moreland versus Altona, Campbellfield and Preston later on. High ball. Who will draw first blood here? With around 18 minutes remaining in this first half. Still nil all. Carlton have come closer to scoring. That one intended for Scopolides. He was well shepherded by the man they call Cucumber, Kukaloglu. And we found out why he's called Cucumber too. Not for the reasons we were thinking either. If it's something to do with the locker room, we don't need to know, Alex. Not at all. It's actually he's cool as a cucumber. That's the reason why. Left foot just goes past the face of goal from Nedjit Sahin, being one of the busier players so far for Hume Sahin, wearing their number 21. Carlton slowly starting to apply more pressure up front. Hume have had some opportunities, but Carlton have had more. This for Parthamos to bring in. Did have a chance to play to Dewey Nguyen, who was on the right-hand side with some real estate around him. Decided to go Goldwood instead. 
rolled through the center. Could it be on here for Hume? Ball down the line from Sahin. And a shot of goal just off target. And you already see Lockie Ramanam coming on, already having a chance at goal. So Straight that's away. Important. Yep. Alex, as soon as he comes on, big Lockie Ramadan always makes an impact. Absolutely. He's just a ball magnet. So they've got to utilize that to their advantage here. One of a real handful of players in the entire league who can turn a match on his own, Lockie Ramadan. The big number five. An absolute tank of a man ferocious on the court but a teddy bear if you meet him off court absolutely one of the most friendliest people you ever meet an absolute gentleman floated over the top here and just too far for Chubb and Rajab you see lucky already ball just put out of play by Carlton. And Mama Temel there. Had a shot, but the was saying it was a bit too close. As we see uh, Kogaloglu just happy to see that ball go out as Fahidia will bring it back into play. That one intended for Lockie Ramadan, but sent sky high. We see Ibrahim Kane on the court for Carlton. There's Kane. Ramadan, nicely done from him. Sahin, good work here from Hume. Coming down the left-hand side, Temul. Was well pressured, though, by Fikri Bozdogan. Dewey Nguyen brings it in to Kane. Goes out wide. Well blocked by Ramadan. We see Nijit Sahin there. Just needs to move up a little bit and put pressure on uh, Kenneth. Just forcing Carlton to go long. Clear. Nice to see an early crowd in here at Sirius Futsal Arena at Futsal Oz in Thomastown. A scorching day in Melbourne. We got up to 35 degrees today. But they have turned out to witness round two action. And certainly an entertaining affair here between Carlton and Hume. With either team yet to get on the board. 14 minutes 20 remaining in this first half. Opportunity here for Carlton, one man wall. Sneakily played through to Ibrahim Kane. One they no doubt have practiced on the training court. Yeah, absolutely. There you can see uh, Maui Fahidia was out very much. He was back to, practically near the wall, and that almost uh, cost them a goal. So they've got to be careful if the keeper does come out that far. Ramadan, keeper off the line. Golden opportunity gone astray for Sahin. <coughs> Should have made better of that. Beautifully played back by Lockie Ramadan. Sahin had time. Goal was open. And here's Lockie. Tries to turn. And it's stolen from him. Wonderfully done. Temel. Draws the foul. Not only is Ramadan a fantastic goal scorer. But his assists can be quite wonderful. Here he is now. Temel again, putting his body on the line. There against Dewey Nguyen. Lockie Ramadan on the left. Going through the centre now, Ramadan. Well cut out by Kane. Kane! Beautiful save to just pip him at the bottom right corner. Again, Mohamed Fatia, just a brilliant save. Got down low, had to force it out. Good bit of passage of play there from Carlton. Carlton putting shots on target. Just got to find a way to get one of them into the back of the net. It will be Ibrahim Kanet. Had Paul Verenti to his left. Chowdhury. Going through the centre here for Hume. Will it fall well for him? It does. Chowdhury! Temel! Oh. He's done it! The deadlock's broken! Mohamed Temel, who's been threatening all night, finally puts in the first goal for Hume. 
And you can see that was coming from Muhammad Temu. He's, he's done that a couple of times, did it last week. You see here, lovely ball lead from Chad Henry. And you can see Muhammad Temu just took a little bit of pace off it and just forcing a sea of legs there. And look, Meliaros, not much you could do there. Good goal. 1-0 Hume, 11 and a half minutes remaining in the opening half. Temu's been impressive so far and a well-deserved goal. After Carlton were looking the more likely to score early on. Just the start that Hume wanted. Can it? Goes back to centre. Receives the return ball. Just couldn't slip it in. Ibrahim can it. Yeah, big deflection there from Muhammad Temple. So on offence and defence. So Carlton now just need to get a goal here. Hume have lifted the pace. No doubt about that. Temple out wide. Well played, cross to Chowdhury. Chowdhury just snaking down the left. Will they look for him here? He's moved to the centre now. Partamos tries to go it alone. Nicholas Partamos. Referee calls a foul. Yeah, the, Nicholas Parfums just couldn't get it out of his feet there. Was, you can see what he's trying to do. The quick touches there, but unfortunately, just couldn't get it out. And that's a big challenge there. Aaron Fung in the thick of it early. So, interested to see how he goes in the next couple of challenges. Mohamed Temu wants his brace of free kicks. That one straight into Dewey Nguyen. Interesting to know, Michael Carlton, four fouls, 10 minutes to go. If there's ever a team that can uh, sit on four fouls for 10 minutes, it's Carlton. Ball getting away from Chowdhury. Aaron Fung down the right-hand side, but a little too far for Darcy Scopolides. Plenty of instructions coming from the Carlton bench. As they trail nil to one, courtesy of a Mohamed Zimmel free kick goal from quite some range. Here's Scopolides. Where's the assistance? Turns on his right. And once again, good goal keeping from Mohamed Fatea. And that one a little too far for Chowdhury. Fatea's done a good job so far tonight. Free kick going the way of Hume. Timeout has been called here. Okay, Alex, if you're on the bench for Carlton, what are you telling them to do in this timeout huddle? Uh, they need to just uh, move the ball around a lot faster than the other. I think they, they will call the fifth foul uh, once they come out of that timeout, but uh, they need to move it around a lot faster. They've got to use their ball... Uh, kids who can move the ball around quickly. Scopolides can turn and shoot. Dewey Newman's very good on his feet. You've got Nicholas Parfumos as well. You've just got to get that. They've got a work rate. It's got to lift. You could see the work rate was lifting, but then as soon as uh, Hume stepped up, they sort of went back into their shell, and then Hume got in control of the game and controlled and pressed, and their work rate lifted. So Carlton need to lift their work rate. They're known for it. They're your younger squad, so you can get the players to just run. So I think at the moment... They've really got to sit, a look at themselves and go, right, how do we get back in this game? They've tested Fatia through long range. It hasn't worked. Maybe getting those quick touches in and you can beat him that way. Wherever you're watching live on Facebook, on YouTube, via We Froth, we hope you're enjoying Round to Action from Series Futsal Arena at Futsal Oz in Thomastown, Melbourne, as Hume lead Carlton 1 0, courtesy of a Mohamed Temel goal. So it'll be interesting to see how they play now for the next eight and a half minutes on five fouls. And another foul here. They go straight to the penalty spot and you don't want to give easy goals to Hume. Last to emerge from the huddle, Carlton. A much needed pep talk and some strategic explanations, no doubt, to try and get on the scoreboard here and try to maintain those fouls. Chowdhury. Stand up, stand up. 
ball just played out there from Omer Turkman. Aaron Fung, nice onto his left. Parthamos. Fung again. Edging forward on the left foot here, Fung. Plays it out wide. Fingertips over the bar. Well done again from Mohamed Fatea. Will be a corner here for Carlton. Fung wants it. Parthamos off the right. Parthamos again. Goes out wide. The ball just coming off Temel. Throw deep into the D. A little too far though. Some acrobatics to keep it in. Ball does stay in. Omar Turkman down the right hand side. And the whistle blows. And that's the penalty. That's what we we're talking about. And they had no choice. They had to foul him because he was off and running. And so now they've got up to Lockie Meliaros here to make the difference as Mohamed Temel steps up. Is Temel going to make it two goals next to his name? You'd back him. On the left, 100%. Mohamed Temel. Oh. oh, beautifully saved. And Temel denied. Wonderful stuff from Lockie Meliaros. Corner here for Hume. Meliaros making himself as big as possible. Collects the ball. Wonderful work for Meliaros. And here they come, Carlton, through Aaron Fung. Parthamos. Skopelides. Skopelides off his left. Darcy again. Parthamos. Tried to go around two to Nicholas Parthamos. Hume come away with it. Some nice defending there from Chaban Rajab. Here's Rajab. Cross court, but a little too much pepper on it to keep him play. Yeah, no, that was a big opportunity there for Carlton. They rode that momentum for that save and just unfortunately turning it over cheaply. As Maliaros again making a big save. So he's coming to the game now. Carlton's team need to step it up for him because he's, he's keeping the scoreline at only 1-0. Corner here for Hume. Temel. Ball sent to the Chowdhury. Still only the one goal separating them from a free kick early on in the half from Mohamed Temel. Big hello to GK Midi, who is watching live on YouTube right now. And he agrees a fabulous save from Lockie Meliaros off the Temel penalty earlier. He's a big supporter of ours, GK Midi. Watches every single game every week, so we thank you for your continued support. Off the left boot, Sahin. Oh. Meliaros just got the leg to it. Good recovery from Lucky Meliaros. Fatia, quick eyes. Foul. Meliaros is going to be called into action again. And this is what we're talking about, the inexperience of the youngsters there. Just letting the, 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 just the temperature rise too much. I need cool heads to prevail. This is where the senior players need to step up and say, listen, let's just keep back it off a little bit. Let them get the ball. Then we can pinch it off them. That wasn't necessary. Can Hume convert this penalty through Nejet Sahin? Maliaros makes himself big, but not big enough. Sahin goes dead centre. And it's 2-0 now for Hume. Well, uh, if the brother-in-law couldn't do it, uh, Nejasahin uh, saves his uh, blushes there. But uh, that was a great penalty there. Just picked that sweet spot there and where keepers just unable to get the hand to it. But again, really good penalty there from Nejasahin. They make it 2-0 and Michael now. That foul count on Carlton has really hurt them here, Alex. These are goals that should not be on the scoreboard for Hume. Only the giving away of many a silly penalty so early in the game 
is costing Carlton, who have otherwise played quite well. They have indeed, and it's been, they were lucky that Maliara saved the one before. They could have been 3 0 down. There's still, I think, four and a half minutes left to go. Still in penalty, you know, spot trouble. So this is where the cool heads need to provide. You see Sharban Rajab having a talk to his youngsters saying, listen, keep it calm, keep it cool, control your, you know, your anger, use your aggression wisely. You don't need to do the silly fouls that push in the back. You see it costs them a goal. You see, that, that's great coaching there from Sharban Rajab, just letting him know, look, it happened, let's move on. You know, we can get it back. The score line's not big. We can uh, get a goal here. We're back in the game. Big hello also to Zahin Ilahi, dropping us a line on YouTube, saying hello. Glad you're enjoying the action, Zahin Ilahi. Let us know, folks, wherever you're watching. Join the YouTube chat or on Facebook. 2-0. Under four minutes remaining in the first half. Hume in control. Both goals have come from set pieces. A free kick from Mohamed Temel. And then, of course, the Sahin penalty. Well stolen. Turkman. Off the left, Chowdhury. Are there more goals here for Hume before the break? Well, they've got the man that can get him, Lock and Ramadam, so that's good coaching there. Ball in here from Turkman. Ramadan going deep. It was Sahin had a shot off his left boot. For Carlton, perhaps the half-time mark cannot come quick enough. Sweet pass was intended for Turkman, but didn't have the read on it. Ramadan playing defense at the moment. As Carlton come down the left, good run here. All the way to the line. Was looking for an opportunity to square the ball, but a little too late to see Fikri Pozdolgan, who was moving through the deep. Yeah, that was good work there from Sharban Rajam. Beat two players on the byline. He's known for those goals, and captain is stepping up now, which is great to see. Now the youngsters need to follow his lead. Kane did a nice play through the centre. Kane again on the far side. And a free kick given. Opportunity here for Carlton. Can they get on the scoreboard before the break? Yeah, and this is this is a perfect time here. If they get one back, they're only a goal down. Um, they haven't been outplayed as such. They've just been uh, really reckless in their challenges. So here's, here's a moment here for the Mad Dog, Shaban Rajab. If he can get one here, we know he's got the range. He just needs the accuracy. You see Rajab, number 16. But the shot at goal just flashes across the face. Big hello also to Chris Dolmuth. Watching live on YouTube. Over the top. Oh, just too, too high. The idea was right, though. As Hume looked for a third. That was Fikri Bozdogan. Wearing number eight for Hume. For Carlton, it was Dewey Nguyen trying to go down the right. Sahin. Always busy, Nedjit Sahin. He's had a good game so far. Plenty of contributions. Rajab nicely done, but it's Ramadan who steals it. Kane is tagging Ramadan. Ball gone out of play. That's a nice joust between the number 96 for Carlton and the big number five for Hume. Yeah, it's a good challenge for Kenef there because usually it's a mad dog it does and he just took his eyes off the ball. So, oh, good save from Maliara. So kenef has got to really, really make sure he uses his body well. He can't afford to give away a foul. Just if he can get to the ball first, he has to. Well cut out from Joshua Polverenti. Carlton at the start of the game were certainly looking the team more likely to score. 
but Hume have really turned it around. Meliaros having a fingertip save there. Hume corner. Sahin. And there's a foul for a Carlton free kick. With about half a minute remaining in this first half. And the yellow card to Omar Turkman. Can Carlton get on the scoreboard? They do have Paul Varenti out wide here. Or maybe we'll go direct for goal. Kahn is also waiting far side of the D. It's a direct shot. Well, goal kept though by Fatia. Beautifully cut out before Paul Varenti could get there. And at half time in this round two game, it's Hume 2. Carlton nil. We'll take a short break and be right back for our second half.
<laughs> yeah, we're ready. Second half of our second round opening match in Serious Futsal Victoria Men and it's Hume 2-0 over Carlton. Both from set pieces, a long range free kick from Mohamed Temel to open the scoring and a converted penalty from Nejit Sahin. Carlton yet to get on the board, did have their fair share of chances in the opening minutes before Hume really turned the tide, swung the pendulum and started pouring on the pressure. It's Hume kicking to the right of screen. Ramadan begins the half for Hume. Temel, good work. Sahin, down the left now come Hume. Playing with a lot more purpose here, Hume. Seemed to have more direction than Carlton. If not for some good goalkeeping from Lockie Meliaros, Hume could have been even further ahead. That said, Mohamed Fatea for Hume has also made some good saves to deny Carlton. Nicholas Partamos. Ball stolen again. Sahin down the line to Kukaloglu. Kukaloglu brings it in. Sahin goes out to the left. Makes a run through the centre. Couldn't receive the return ball though, Nidget Sahin. Yeah, that was a really good uh, open bit of play there from uh, Hume. It's, that came off. There's not a chance. So good start here from Carlton. They're really putting the pressure on early. They just need that goal in the first couple of minutes. Scopolides. Cracks it to the upright. Wonderful shot there from Fikri, uh, from uh, Dewey Nguyen. That was the pressure you spoke about early when he said Nguyen was a player to watch for Carlton, Alex. He can do that on a dime. He can turn a match. Yeah, absolutely. You can see they're very, very lucky. For, they finally beat Fatia there, but unfortunately the post got in the way. So, again, it's still a good start. This is where Carlton need to just amp up the pressure a bit more and really force a mistake uh, and let you know Hume know that, look, we're, we're coming for you in this half. They just got to get that early goal because uh, the confidence does take a hit when you don't score after you know having countless number of chances. Partimos, Nguyen, doing Nguyen again off his right. Doing Nguyen, it's a wonderful goal. Goal of the night so far. It was right for Dewey Nguyen to come to the fore. Look at this move. And he started that off, which is a positive there. And you can see he kept running. Lovely little flick down the line here. Just waited for the right bounce. And then somehow, it, it probably taking the deflection or whatever, Mohamed Fatia didn't see it. Oh, another chance there for Hume. So we've got a game on our hands. We said it. If Carlton can get the early goal, it puts the pressure back on Hume. And rightly so, has done it. Ramadan off his right. Lockie Ramadan ball out again. Temel to bring it in. scopolini has got a toe to it. Headed down through the centre. Sahin. Maliaros long throw for Taya. Cleans it. Back and forth action here. Down the left come Hume. Via Resik Kukaloglu. The intensity has increased in the second half. Mohamed Semel, who scored the opening goal tonight. Kukaloglu to Ramadan. Ramadan turns. So sweet-footed for a big man, Lockie Ramadan. Semel and Kukaloglu waiting for the ball. It's Mohamed Semel. Here's Kukaloglu. Ramadan. Kukaloglu. And well intercepted. Long ball for Lockie Ramadan. Beautifully done. 
You get the feeling now, Alex, that Lockie is hungry. He's locked in, that's for sure. Here he is again, Ramadan. Still Ramadan! Oh, what a goal-saving tackle there from Sharban Rajab. Pazimos down the right. Ramadan off. On comes Chowdhury. Sahin. Chowdhury going through the centre. Here he is now. Kukaloglu chesting it down, trying to find Minas Chowdhury. 2-1, long time to go. Great opening goal for Carlton. Hume scoring both of theirs in the first half. Aaron Fung. Parthamos goes through the centre. Not there though. Scopolides. Still Scopolides. Went it alone and deflection off Mohamed Zemel. It's almost as if Hume's sort of uh, backing off now. They're sort of not applying any pressure whatsoever and this is allowing Carlton to get back into the game. That one sent Skywood. Fatea. Hoping for Chowdhury at the top of the D. Down the right side. Good interception. Nicely done, Hume. Looking for a second, Mohamed Zemel. Brought it well onto his right boot after a slaloming run down the left wing. Just couldn't get that brace he's hunted after. And it's another goal saving block there from Sharvan Raja. That's two. Ooh, nice goalkeeping from Meliaros. Temel starting to pepper the goal. Meliaros. Looking for the head of Scopolides. Temel goes long. Temel. Scopolides in front of him. Nice pass. Sahin. Chaudhry. Sahin. Rajab defending wisely again, showing that experience. Chowdhury off his right into the side netting. Yeah, they just needed to move it around there, so they got another chance at it. Try something new. Muhammad Tem was waiting for it on that beautiful logo. Chowdhury over the top to Sahin! Oh. Well, Meliaros had come off his line. But the pressure that he applied is maybe what distracted Sahin from putting it on target. A chance now for Carlton again. Partimos in the centre. Now goes out to the right. Kane finds him. Kane runs through the centre. Partimos goes alone. Nicholas Partimos fouled. No. Yes, it was a foul. Late whistle call there from the referee. Yeah, Michael Tiarasi just having a look at Kosagatis, uh, and they did call a foul. So very interesting. They didn't challenge it, Michael. If you are aware, both teams have one challenge each half, and if you aren't successful, if you are successful, sorry, it doesn't. You don't keep it. Unfortunately, it goes away. So maybe Mo Tanker there just keeping it up his sleeve because he knows. You think he might get another chance later on in the game, but this is a good opportunity for Carlton here. Very good position. Can they make him pay? Nicholas Parthamos versus a two-man war. Got Chubbin Raj up to his left. Got Kanna going deep. Will he go it alone? For Carlton Hart to equalize. Going to be a big run up here from Parthamos. Well done by Fatia. Can it? Good shepherding from Timu. Gets the ball to Fatia. Sahin. Looking for Omer Turkman. Parthamos down the left. Still Parthamos. Two on one. Turkman steals it. Wins the ball back. Omer Turkman. Gets the assistance. 
Nejit Sahin has been busy all night. Through the centre. Gets away from Chowdhury. Can it? Another foul called here, Alex. Yeah, and it's interesting. Uh, sort of role reversal now. Where Humor racking up the fouls and Carlton are very uh, cool, calm and collected. So maybe a timeout is needed for Hume just to settle them down and say, listen, we've still got the lead. Plenty of time left. We want to save up a couple of fouls when we go deep into the end, towards the end of the game. So a good chance here again. The Mad Dog will he go for it. Raja. Wow. Don't know if he was going for it or he hoped that Canna would get something to it. Either way, not on target for Carlton. They still trail by a goal. Lockie Ramadzan back on the court. The big fella goes through the centre. Temel two on one, draws a foul. Plenty of time remaining for Carlton to find the equaliser. Temel. He's already scored once in the first half from a free kick from just about the same range. Ramadan prowling at the top of the D. The intended target for the throw. Another foul called. And you can hear Mo Tanker there just saying in the background, no more. So they're on three now. 13 and a half minutes left to go. They've got to be smart. Well played there. The experience of Chaban Rajab in defence. Coming to the fore. Ramadan versus Rajab. Ramadan on his right. Look here, Ramadan. An absolute screamer. And the big fella puts them ahead 3-1. That's why he's so important to him. That's what he can do. And you can see here the Mad Dog just a bit too casual in that one. Kept in. And then all he needed was just that turn. And knew as soon as he got that turn on, puts it right in a sweet spot. And now they lead 3-1. So now Carlton have to come back and chase. You can see there Joshua Pulverente with a late challenge. Hopefully he's okay. Boz again, just checking up on him. How's this? Kolokoglu. What a lovely turn and goal from Ramadan. Chasing the ball here, gets away from him. Out wide, but too wide for Josh Pulverenti. In from Kukologlu. It's Temel. Plays it cross court. Kukaloglu. Back to Mohamed Temel. Ramadan. No, it goes across to Turkmen. And there again is Chaban Rajab. Ever reliable Rajab. Shot on target by Meliaros. Had safe hands. He was looking for Fikri Bozdogan. 11.45 remains for Carlton to somehow find a way back into this contest. They trail by two. The Ramadan goal was the first from open play in this match. The other two had come from set pieces. A free kick from Mohamed Temel and a penalty from Nijit Sahin. Ramadan. Protests against the foul on Ramadan. Yeah, it looks like, a, are they going to challenge it though, is the question here. Do they want to challenge it is another question. Because they're on four now, 11 minutes left to play. Maybe the smart decision is don't challenge it, keep it up your sleeve because you've got to now play... So you got to play be second to the ball now because if you really if you really go for it you can give away cheap fouls and that's how Carlton can get back into the game and they they're on at the penalty spot so 
Doesn't look like they'll challenge it, which is a good decision. They've just got to be on their best behaviour now. Paul Verenti. Ramadan. Well done from Paul Verenti. Turkman. Paul Verenti chasing all over the court. Number three for Carlton. Can it? Trying to snake his way through an ocean of black. Are they going to protest that one? Five fouls for Hume. So this is pretty much a reversal of the first half where Carlton were in trouble on the penalty spot and now it's Hume's turn and it's not what Hume wanted with ten and a half minutes left to go on five fouls. Now that, that pressure just intensifies. So we see him over the ball now. Joshua Pulverenti, what can he do from the set piece? Can Carlton come back to 2-3? Paul Verenti. Well done from Fatia. Turkman. Stolen. Can it. Goals open. Couldn't convert. Important block there from Mohamed Temel. Hume cannot concede any more fouls. Well, that was just wide as well. Aaron Fung. Hume call a timeout. They'll go to a huddle. Alex, if you're in the huddle of Carlton, what are you telling them to do? Uh, you've got to keep the pressure on. If you're Carlton now, you know they're, on, they're in trouble. So Hume are in trouble on five fouls. Carlton, you've got to put the pressure on. This is where you get those youngsters and say to them, listen, your job now is to just run and attack the players. Force them into errors. Um, get them to make them foul. So then that way we go to the penalty spot. So for Hume now, the pressure is on them because they can't they can't foul. They simply have to allow Carlton. Now can Carlton control the tempo of the game, the speed, the movements. Hume have to sit back and go, right, we need to be strategic in the way we attack. And we need to attack our chances. They need to put goals on the ball. So in case they do have to give away a foul... They've got the goal. They've got a couple of goals ahead. So two goals is not enough for them. They're about what ten minutes left to play. Yeah, they're in a spot of bother here, but the cool heads need to prevail here. A fabulous goal from Lucky Ramadan. A free kick goal from Mohamed Temel. A converted penalty for Nejat Sahin. Three goals for Hume. Carlton one on the board. That one was scored by Dewey Newitt. Nine and a half minutes to go. Still a long time. Fatea. Turkman dispossessed by Fung. Here comes Parthamos down the left onto the right boot now. Nicholas Partimos goes cross court. Well, Partimos was open on the left for the return ball, but Rajab decided to go alone. Maybe a decision he regrets now. Hume down the left. Floats it over the top. Looking for Omer Turkman. That's hit the roof, so it's going to be a side ball here for Carlton. Paul Verenti. Paul Verenti again. Temel. Just gets away from Hardy. Nice tackle on Omar Hardy. That was good work there from Omar Hardy. You clearly two against one, and he just kept going for it. Didn't give away a foul. He got the foul for his team now. Now it gives him an opportunity for them to put themselves in a good position. So that was really good work there by the youngster. Turkman. 
launches it. Omer Turkman. Second round action of Series Futsal Victoria. First of three games tonight. Coming up shortly, Moreland versus Eltona. Also, Campbellfield versus Preston. Campbellfield with Elias Parthamos wearing their colours tonight. Having left Fitzroy, the champions, to sign with Campbellfield through the week. Omer Turkman turns onto his left boot, denied by Meliaros. Parthamos. Beautifully cut out there by Omar Hardy. Pulverenti. Raja. Hardy again. Got Temel to his right. Finds him. Mohamed Temel. Turkman. Paul just lost there after some good movement from Hume. This is where Hume need to time manage, Michael. They need to waste the clock as much as they can. Take their time getting the ball. Use the four seconds to their advantage. Move it around. Don't allow Carlton to hold possession of the ball. And that way, force Carlton to make a couple of fouls. Scopolidis on now for Carlton. Brings the ball into Nicholas Parthamos. Parthamos goes across, across court. Back to Parthamos. Well, ball lost again from Carlton. It's the second time Sharpen has done that, so. Temel has had an outstanding night. Parthamos. Off his right! Carlton call a timeout. They trail by two. Alex, if you're in the Hume huddle, what are you telling Hume to do? I think what the, the when they call the timeout, they've settled down a little bit. They haven't really been attacking the uh, when Carlton have the ball. You can see they're very reserved, allowing Carlton to bring the ball down, pass it around, and when the, when they know there's no player next to them, they can put a challenge or try to pinch it. So a lot better from Hume. It's time management now. Hume just need a time manage to the best of their ability. Take their time, move it around, slow the game down a little bit. Um, speed it up when they have to, but uh, they need to make sure every bit of possession passing is on point. They can't afford to give away sloppy passes because that puts the pressure on the person receiving the ball. They have to, uh, after challenge now, that's going to give away a penalty. So it's it's you've really got to be very tactical here, but you've got to take your chances. I think they need to get Lockie back on and get him to do that quick, quick turns and shoots. Uh, and that way they can get, build that buffer because in case they might need to fail. They've still got one challenge up their sleeve. So that's a positive. Um, 6.45 left to go. Look, it's still anyone's game. Hume are definitely not uh, over the line as yet. Plenty of time for Carlton to wrangle their way back into this match. Hume goals to... Temel from a free kick. Sahin's penalty. And Lockie Ramadan with an absolute screamer. The one goal for Carlton to Dewey Nguyen. Corner here for Carlton. Fung. Well blocked there by Kukaloglu. Here's Darcy Skopolidis. Dewey Nguyen. Beautifully done from Hardy. Temel. Sahin. Taken by Meliaros and taken well. Parthamos. Dewey Nguyen. Back to Parthamos. Skopolidis making a move through the centre. Temel blocks. Hume ball. Nope, Carlton ball. Pressing slowly. Carlton inching forward. Clock is ticking. Need a goal. Aaron Fung. It's at times like these, a hero needs to step up. And that's not how it'll be done. Who will step up for Carlton? 
Do they have a hero in their midst? Could it be Dewey Newitt? Could it be Aaron Fong? Darcy Scopolides? Hume. Trying to find the run on from Omar Hardy. Just gets away from him. It was a good ball there from Mohamed Fatia. He's seen it early. Fung. Patamos. Nguyen going down the left. Patamos go through the centre. Scopolides to the right. Just hits the backboarding. Close for Carlton. But time is rapidly becoming their enemy. Nice run here from Kukaloglu. Centering ball to Skopelides. Oh, oh, it hits the upright. Oh, that is agonizing for Dewey Newitt. And again, Mohamed Fatih is beaten, but unfortunately it's a post that's getting in Carlton's way. I think twice that post tonight yes, it has, has, yeah. has denied two goals tonight, that same post. So four minutes ago now, the pressure's starting to mount up a bit on Carlton now. They need to attack. To Inuit versus Chowdhury. Scopolides. Scopolides off the right. Carlton pre peppering the goal, but still the ball not able to find the way into the net for Carlton. Chowdhury cannot keep it in. Bozdogan. Bozdogan making a run forward. Kukuloglu could not find the target. Always busy, Resa Kukuloglu. This man's been super busy. Nejit Sahin scored by a penalty. Bozdogan couldn't bring it under control. Here's Chaban Rajab. Can I make your move? Josh Pulverenti fancied his left foot. Pulverenti to bring it in. Got Rajab to his right. Rajab. Oh, oh. did it go over the line? It hasn't. Wow. Gatsis has uh, called it. Even Robertus might review it here. Is that one you challenge? Well, that's... Uh, it looked well, like it went over the line. It, let's, yes, please. We'll replay it. Uh, Everyone about us has challenged it, so it's good to see. Maybe if we get the top view. But I'm not sure if we can see it perfectly here. But the Rajab, oh, it's through his legs. Oh, that looks over. Oh, that looks very, very close. Wow, some controversy here at Futsal Oz. Did it go over the line? Yeah, can we get top view? Maybe, maybe we can just maybe see it. It doesn't look like it. I, it's very hard to tell from this angle. Let's have a look here. Maybe this might be a bit of you. The whole ball has to be over the line. We know that. So the shot comes in. He sits on it. It looks over. Oh. I thought I saw some blue between the goal line and the ball. Very hard to tell. Look, this is uh, this is a hard decision from here. A lot hinges on this. A chance for Carlton to go. 3-2. Maybe we can get one ball, look at the replay. <coughs> there is so much depending on this result. It doesn't look like it's completely over the line. Just watching back here, if you on Wee Froth or YouTube, it doesn't look like the entire ball's over the line, but this is going to be a very hard decision, Michael. One team is not going to be happy. Let's have a look at the replay again here. Maybe we can slow it down a bit. Does the ball go all the way over the line? Here. So there. It looked to me like it went all the way over, Alex. Very hard to tell. This is why we got the challenges. This is what just makes it extra spicy. 
Mokotiaris walks over. No goal. Wow. No goal. Cal to remain two trailing. 3-1 Hume. That is going to be debated. I'll tell you what. On social media all week, they will be talking about that one. But meanwhile, Carlton need to put it in the back of their mind and press on. They've got to find two goals in two minutes and 20 seconds. Kanek, will he be the man to find the net? Could it be this man, Paul Parenti? Will it be Rajab? Will it be Skopelides? Given away. They cannot afford to lose the ball like that. The only thing that's saving Carlton at the moment is stop clock territory. They can't waste the ball now, Hume. So this is where they need to play a little bit smart. Could Carlton draw a foul? Hume cannot give away any more fouls. Oh, no, that's done now. That's the ball game. That is the ball game. Fikri Bozdogan seals the deal for Hume. There is certainly no way back now for Carlton. The room given to him here as he comes through the centre. Goalkeeper Meliaros completely off his line. Easy pickings for Fikri Bozdogan. Skopolidis fires one. fatea has got it covered. Yeah, that was a great, great chance there from Sahin. He just went around nicely and squared it perfectly. And Carlton got to throw everything in the kitchen sink at it now. 1.25 remains. Hume... Three goals ahead. Again, breaking down for Carlton in the final third. Look how much room for Temmel's got on the right-hand side. And the room here for Sahin. You've got to wonder, had that goal gone Carlton's way after the VAR challenge, how may this, have, this match had differed? If Carlton had got that sniff of a chance, have gotten that confidence boost, but it didn't go their way. Ball given away again. Muhammad Timmel's had such a busy game for Hume. Been almost faultless, Timmel. They get one back. 4-2, but the 46 seconds remaining to find another two. A near impossibility. Can Those they, stranger things have happened in the world of futsal. It has. A, can they find another uh, a heartbeat? Can they find a pulse here and score another goal here? Let's have a look at the replay. It's from a set piece. Scopolides. And pull, it looks like it might have been an own goal, I think. Stranger things have happened. Meliaros moving up. Maliaros wants the ball, wants the glory. Ball turned over to Hume. That's not what Carlton needs with 35 seconds on the clock. They need the ball. They need to keep it. Nicholas Partimos brings it in. Rajab has a crack, denied though by Sahin's block. There have been some fantastic players on both teams. Just trying to think who may be awarded man of the match here, Alex. I think Temmel's had a great game. Sahin's had a very good game as well. Oh, I tend to agree with you on that one. Oh, there was a chance for Dewey Nguyen. Some protests at the free kick being awarded here to Hume in the final seconds. Plenty of drama in this match. Some controversy. A standout goal from Lockie Ramadan and also an absolute belter from Dewey Nguyen. But the talking point will be the disallowed goal. Do let us know your thoughts, folks, on Facebook, on YouTube. You'll no doubt be pausing it. Zooming it, replaying it. Do you see blue between the ball and the goal line? If 
final 18 seconds of what has been a thrilling affair. Some more sh seconds shaved off the clock here by Hume. Raja trying to find the boot of Meliaros who is prowling inside the D. Corner here for Carlton. Parthamos may go for goal. He does off the left. And that is the end of the game. A 4-2 victory for Hume over Carlton Hart, concluding the opening match of our second round of Series Futsal Victoria Men. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I've got the big man, Lockie Ramadan from Hume. Congratulations. First win for Hume in Serious Futsal in a long time. Uh, that was a really tight game there. Talk us through it. I got a bit tight, especially after the fouls I gave away. You know, fifth foul, 10 minutes to go. Um, can give away a lot of easy goals. But thankfully, the boys didn't give a foul and uh, they held on. They uh, kept the defense tight and they saw it through. Talk us through that. We mentioned that a timeout was called there. You were on five fouls, about 10 minutes to go. What was the message from Mo to the team just saying, hey, the next 10 minutes are crucial? What was the message? What was he saying well, to you guys? Well, it was basically, you know, don't foul, don't tackle from behind because yep. you can get sucked in. And uh, the boys done it really well, picked their tackles and good on them. <laughs> you scored a brilliant goal. It's been coming for a while now. Are you still slowly starting to understand where uh, each uh, teammate is and uh, your confidence is growing? Yeah, yeah, the playing with him is very easy. You know, you've got the defenders there. They're really strong defensively and uh, they're all experienced. You know, Nedge, Timmy and uh, Reza, they're amazing players. So, uh, yeah, really good to be alongside them. Talk us through the, they called a challenge with that goal that we couldn't see it from our angle. Obviously, the ball was very close. <laughs> from from Hume's bench, you guys probably had a bit of you. I know your answer, but uh, <laughs> did you feel if that had gone in, did the game change? It would have changed if that goal counted? To be honest, I think even they knew that it wasn't a goal. Okay. But maybe a good tactic for a breather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time, Lock. Congratulations on the win and the goal. Stay thank tuned, you. ladies and gentlemen. We've got plenty of futsal left, and it's a big one. Moreland versus Altona coming right up after this.